Hey guys, Kiwi from Kegland, and I'm very excited to talk about our wrapped laser level sensor. Now this is a really exciting product because we have been working on this for years, and I think it is a really nice, elegant solution for working out what those liquid levels are in kegs, but also a lot of other tanks like fermenters or even big water tanks and big fermenters and stuff like that. We have been working on this for a number of years, trying many different options, which a lot of them didn't really work that well. We started off looking at things like ultrasonics, but honestly, they didn't work well when we had headspace in things like kegs with different gases at different pressures, because that obviously changes the speed at which those ultrasonic uh, measurements would travel through the gas base. The other thing is we tried even capacitive and float sensors and stuff like that, but they didn't work that well. They weren't really very sanitary as well, having st stuff like you know, dip down in the liquid, which was hard to sanitize. So they were a bit of a pain in the bum. We also looked at weight level sensors and they had other problems with regards to their consistency over time and drifting out of, uh, out of range. So this is what we came up with. Now, unlike other laser level sensors, the wrapped laser level sensor is basically quite different in the sense it doesn't shoot out a single point array. So if you're losing, using a laser level sensor, you know, outside and, uh, you know, maybe doing some gardening and want to measure distance between two trees or doing some construction or whatever, they will send out a single point laser. Now, we did also try that when we first started off, but that has a really poor, um, you know, experience with using those on liquid in particular because of the re reflectivity of the liquid. So we eventually came up with this solution, which is a laser which basically fires down a whole array and it plots out the total, all of the internals inside the keg. So many, many different lasers shoot down like that, map the internals of the keg, and that gives you a much better reading, especially for reflective surfaces, especially when we don't know what the liquid color is, we don't know what the liquid type is. So that means this works on things like wine, carbonated water, beer, stout, Coca-Cola, you know, whatever. So this particular sensor is really fantastic for such an amazingly wide range of different tanks. Now, the other thing is we also made it, firstly, to fit corny keg lids. So that would be really handy for you guys. So if you wanted to use it in one of these corny homebrew kegs, all you'd have to do is get a slightly different lid like this with a hole through the middle, then put the laser level sensor into the unit like that, and then screw on the other half of it like so. So really easy to fit, and then you put it inside the keg just like you normally would. Now this is a battery powered device. Now it would be a massive pain if we made a unit which only lasted let's say a few weeks or a month or something like that. And a lot of you guys just wanna set up and just forget about it and make sure you've got that level inside the keg or tank for an extended period of time. So this particular unit, you basically whack some batteries in here and it's gonna get you between 18 to 36 months depending on your transmission frequency and the strength of Bluetooth uh, transmissions that you need. And that's only at this stage, I should say, we're also doing a lot of ongoing work um, on the software level to basically optimize the power consumption. Uh, but basically, uh, these units can fit into the top of things like water tanks and how useful would that be? Chuck it in your water tank, for something like a water tank with the liquid levels changing very slow, you can also drop the transmission frequency down to even lower periods and then make this last for several years if you wanted to. Also handy for things like large fermenters. How annoying is it for anyone with a large fermenting tank or big wine fermenter tank and taking those measurements inside the tank and you have to sort of you know, get a dipstick or a dip tube or something like that and this can just feed out a Bluetooth signal wirelessly to another device and pick it up and read it like your phone or some of the other devices which I'm gonna show you in a tick. This is just an example of how versatile the unit is. Whatever type of tank you've got, as long as you can make a 41 millimeter hole in the top of the tank. Look, I've got a TC plate here, which I laser cut, but you can drop this into the lid like so, and then get this piece on the underside and screw it together to make that watertight fitting. So just put this together like that, and there we go, put it on top of my fermenter tank like that. And this is awesome because the battery just lasts so long, as I was saying, over 18 months. So I could do a ferment per month and literally last for a year and a half and you know, still not even have to worry about charging this unit up or replacing any batteries. So when we first started down this path, I was actually talking to Plato. They're the ones that first invented this keg scale method. So this scale method we also looked at, this was something we actually were interested in buying the tooling from them, but we shied away from it just because of the couple of the small issues we had with some of these. Like as much as they would work for some people, we did find them a little bit frustrating when the kegs are in a very tight fridge and the kegs are touching up against each other or the wall of the kegger at it, which was sort of commonly the case. It would put some of the measurements out. The other thing is with the level sensor, when you're using scales, they would tend to drift out if the temperature changes as well. And that was really frustrating. So normally in a set of scales, you would tear it every time you use it. But obviously if you just got something persistently sitting on the top of those scales and it drifts out, 
you don't really have the ability to tear it if you're just sitting there. The other thing is the power consumption of the scales is quite a bit higher. So when we looked at this particular option, it didn't really suit you know, the battery experience that we wanted, something where it was wireless, you could move the keg around, wash the keg down with a hose and didn't have to worry about putting balancing on top of something or washing something down. Also in a very high humidity environment or at times where there's water or potentially liquid coming off the keg, dripping onto the unit, the units have to be really well sealed. So a lot of the connectors and stuff like that have to be really well sealed to work properly and work for an extended period of time. Even the circuit boards in this type of device have to be completely pot set or gel set, which is, look, it's a bit of a hassle, doesn't add too much cost, but it's certainly something which would have to be required in this setup. Like with our laser level sensor, it just comes in a simple plastic housing, screws together, and the whole thing is watertight and seals on the lid or tank lid or whatever it is you're using. So being a BLE or Bluetooth low energy device, this is one of those devices in the wrap family which sits there and sends the signal one direction. So it's really easy and seamless to set up, unlike some of the stuff which you need to connect to Wi-Fi, you have to set up your Wi-Fi credentials and all that type of stuff. This is much, much easier. All you do is you basically whack the batteries in, install it to the lid of the keg if that's what you're using, and then it'll basically start firing off those low energy Bluetooth signals straight away. And then you can chuck that in something like your kegerator. Now, if you've noticed, you probably can also see on this particular kegerator, I've actually got a color screen in here. And this is an upgrade, which for instance, is one of those things that can work with one of the Bluetooth low energy transmission devices like this. So this will be giving off a signal telling you how much is in each keg for example and then you've got a screen on the kegerator which can pick up on that and show it on this color screen so in this particular instance i've got four kegs inside this kegerator you can see on the screen here it actually says the temperature it goes through much more in-depth settings than our previous older screens on the kegerators but it also tells me what's in there so it says i've got uh, basically a hard solo I've got a draft beer, and then I've also got a Bundy Cola in there as well. And you can see it just flashing there, showing how much is in each keg, in that level in each keg. So how cool is that? Now, of course, because it's a wrap device, you can also use that BLE signal or Bluetooth low energy signal to feed into other devices too. So if you've got a wrap temp controller, or if you've got a chamber, for instance, you can be storing kegs or some type of tank in there, then you can also pick up on the liquid level in that vessel as well. So in the not too distant future, all of the new kegerators that will bring out will start to have this type of a color screen option so it can pick up on these Bluetooth low energy wrap devices. Now, if you've got one of the older Kegland kegerators, all of the Kegland kegerators will be able to be upgraded with this PCB board as well. So they're kind of backwards compatible. So a fairly low price, you could buy just the board, take the lid off and modify the unit to basically have that full color screen. Now, how cool is that functionality? You can literally put these in inside your kegerator or any tank or water tank and remotely monitor that level is inside that vessel, especially if you're using one of these Bluetooth beacon devices to basically pick up on the Bluetooth beacon and relay that to the internet, such as the kegerator. So you can set things like alerts and you could set alerts at certain times of day. If somebody's drinking your kegs or you've got kids who are sort of getting stuck into your hazy uh, IPA or something like that, at certain hours of the day, you can sort of set those alerts to happen. So what an awesome device. I think this is such a cool thing to be able to do on your kegerator or onto your fermenting tanks or other vessels. Anyway, if you wanna hear about any other cool stuff that's coming out, of course, subscribe now. Bottom right hand corner, hit that subscribe button. And of course, join our Facebook homebrew community group. Anyway, that's it and see you guys next time. Bye.